Hey, how you guys doing? It's me, Elric, here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel, bringing you guys yet another unboxing. Today, I'm taking a look at the Logitech MX Performance Mouse. What is this mouse? Well, the really cool thing about it is it works on any surface. You're able to use this thing without a mouse pad, even on glass. It's fully programmable, and no, it won't work on asphalt for you smart Alex out there who think it might, so don't even try this at home. That said though, let's jump in and take a look at this new really cool product from the people over at Logitech. Okay, so moving into the unboxing, we see we've got the MX Logitech Performance Mouse, rated number one right here. I'll jump down to the bottom of the box. We can see there's a rechargeable battery. That's pretty cool because you don't want to be buying batteries. They get expensive and it's a pain in the butt to keep having to have them on hand. This makes it much simpler. A really good thing though, is that you can hook up to six compatible devices through its USB connection. Once you plug it in, you can use a keyboard, mouse, whatever devices are compatible with the Logitech lineup, you'll be able to use. It also has effortless Logitech hyper-fast scrolling, which makes scrolling much easier when you're doing web pages and stuff. And another great thing is it tracks on virtually any surface, even glass. Obviously, it's not going to track on water, you know, things like that, it's not going to. And then you can see it's got back forward buttons for easy surfing, which means that you can move the buttons on the side and adjust them how you want them to be. So let's jump in. We're going to see right here, we have the product. The power to achieve is in your hands. That's what it says on the little top thing right there. I'm not even going to really worry about that, but I'm just going to go ahead and pop this out right here. And then, whoa, hey, you guys like that? Like that, I want to do that again though. Let's do, let's do that again all together. I really like that. That was kind of actually funny. This is like a sliding mouse box really. So here we go. Here comes the mouse. Uh, I'm not, hey, what do you know? There's the mouse. <laughs> I know that's crazier than hell, but all right, there it is. So there's some other stuff inside here as well. I'll go ahead and pull that out. We've got the Logitech Control Center 3.0. This is the driver CD and everything. Also contains the set point drivers. Make sure you install these things. You get better performance out of the mouse when you actually use them. Otherwise, it's pretty much plug and play, but you want to install this anyways. Get a picture of it right there. I like this unifying, unifying drivers for using everything together. Really cool stuff. Logitech is using their brains. Then we have a little bag right here. So inside of the bag, we have a little plug here. Now what this does is not only charge your mouse, but if you actually want to use the mouse while it's charging, you can still use this while it's plugged in like a USB mouse. Pretty cool. Go ahead and toss it off to the side. Got some other cool stuff in here. What do we got right here? This is an adapter. This is actually, so if you want to put your wireless connector on top, you could plug this in the back of your system, run this on top, and then put the connector into it. Then we've got a little power charging outlet right here, last but not least. A lot of companies are using these type of devices. I've been able to charge my phone and stuff off of most of them. The only thing is my HP touchpad, um, its particular charger will charge everything, but I can only charge the HP touchpad on that particular charger. So moving on, that's all there is inside the little bag. It's actually a nice quality neoprene bag, nicely made. You guys can see over here, here is the little unit right here. You see how this is coming out here. So here's the little USB receiver. It's really shiny, <laughs> really tiny, no, me tiny rather. Sometimes I can't speak. I'm still learning English, you guys know. Klingon's my first language, you know. Like I said before, this thing plugs into here and this plugs in the back of your unit if you want it like extended out for the range. So now we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna pop it out of the plastic right here. Yeah, I have a little bit different to difficult to get out. We'll start taking it some different shots of the mouse. I'll get this up to the camera. You guys can see right here. It fits very ergonomically in my hand. Very nice. I like the way that it feels. Has a nice feel to it. The mouse button's right here on the side for your hand. You have your zoom button. Your back and forth button's right there as well. Move to the front. Here's where your recharge goes. That cable we showed you earlier right here. This will be plugging into this, going into your PC or your Mac. Here is the on and off switch, and here is the dark field sensor. This sensor is what allows you to scroll on glass and other crazy objects. Last but not least, we have the compartment right here where the rechargeable battery will go. Show you guys this. I'm going to go ahead and pull my latent mouse pad out here real quick, though, just so the cameraman can go ahead and get you guys some really cool shots of the mouse, and I'll spin it around for you guys on this mouse pad because it uh, actually is uh, really nice and silky smooth. 
So this is basically it. Like I said before, this is a $70 wireless mouse. The really key features on it are its new scrolling features, it's totally programmable, and via its USB connection, you can connect up to six devices simultaneously. That's a really great thing for people who like the Logitech lineup is you don't have to have a bunch of different USB ports being occupied to have connectivity. 70 bucks, like I said, you can buy it all over anywhere. Uh, and that's about it. I'll see you guys back here on motherboards.org.